Hello Chargers, I'm Ben King, now your only Daily Charge host, here today with your Daily Charge. Today we're going to be talking about a tech tip, the recent sports games, a mandatory leadership assembly, Pippin tickets, and an article on the return to school. Let's get started. Well, it's Tuesday, which not only means that it's probably confusing for everyone watching this to see me hosting today, but it also means that there is a tech tip for you to watch. Do I know what that is? No. No, I don't. They don't tell me that stuff. But I do know that there is one, so enjoy. Hey Chargers, here's a tech tip that will help you on Zoom. There is an easy way to open Zoom and to take notes at the same time. During your Zoom class, swipe up from the bottom of the screen and drag Notability to either side of the screen. Now you can take notes and view your class simultaneously. With this split screen view, you can also make the window smaller or remove it completely. Thanks for watching, Chargers. Recently, our tennis, golf, and softball teams all played against opposing schools. Our boys and girls tennis teams both beat San Inez with scores of 18 to 0 and 10 to 8, respectively. Our boys and girls golf teams both beat Lompoc with scores of 442 to 582 and 329 to 389, respectively. And our softball team won two games against Rigetti with scores of 17 to 2 and 11 to 1. Great job to all of our winning teams. Attention, all students interested in participating in leadership next year. There's a mandatory assembly this Thursday, April 22nd, for all students who want to be part of leadership next year. If you don't attend, you, you won't be able to be a part of leadership, so make sure you tune in. The meeting is over Zoom at 7 a.m., and the link will be posted in our bio. Tickets for Dos Pueblos Theater Company's Spring Musical Pippin are on sale now. The show is either available to watch online or live on May 21st and or May 22nd, but tickets tend to sell out fast, so make sure you buy them before they're gone. The link to that will also be in our bio, but you can also buy them at dptheatercompany.org. Recently, Newshawk published an article on the return to campus at DP. It'll be linked in our bio, and I suggest you go check it out, as it's a pretty good read. That's all for today, Chargers. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and make sure to like the WaterWise videos. Remember to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at dpnews805, and subscribe to us on YouTube at dpnews. I'll see you all tomorrow, so until then, have a great day.